how are you everyone my name is mr jm kimani welcome you once again in our continuation of topic probability set theory this is lesson two tackling the practical uh, questions on set theory our question one reads a survey on 500 consumers revealed the following 350 consumers liked product a 220 consumers liked product b while 100 consumers liked both products required roman one present the above on a venn diagram Roman 2, how many consumers did not like the products? And Roman 3, how many consumers liked only one product? End of the question. Now, this question uh, features only two individual sets. So you have the universal. 500 consumers, and then you have the individual sets, which is product A and product B. So we are going to present this way. You have been told that 350 liked product A, then 220 liked product B, and then 100 liked both product A and B. Now, why we need set theory or sets to understand and solve such a question is, should you add this, the number of consumers provided, you'll find that they are already more than 500. So this is actually giving us uh, 670, which is way beyond the 500 universally given. That tells you that we have need to apply logic in our um, analysis. There is no, it's not possible for us to work with 670, but on counting the customers or the consumers, they are only 500. So we need to apply the set theory in uh, understanding and analyzing the question. So we are going to present universal set of 500. Then you have the individual sets set a and set b set a and set b representing the number uh, the consumers who like product a and product b so product a then product b product a and product b in that manner. So that now we can indicate that yes, we have 500 total consumers that are, we are uh, studied and surveyed, that um, those who liked product A are actually 350 in total. If you look at A circle, it has two sections. We have this section and we have this section. It is the two sections when you add them together they should give you your 350. So you cannot record 350 specifically inside the circle since it has two sections. So we are going to present this way. This is 350. Then again, B, we have two sections, this section and this section. When you add the two, they should give you a 220. So we are going to present this way. This is 220. But at least, we do have the intersection. This section which is overlapping, that is in A and in B. This represents the number of consumers who like product A as well as product B. We are actually 100. So we come and record inside here, 100. 100. Now, uh, if we try to analyze this, we shall be able to find 
uh, the areas that we have not uh, indicated. Now, using the set operations that uh, I explained in lesson one, like uh, the set difference, we are able to work out this area. This is an area which is not in B, meaning it's an area unique to set A. Those who liked product A only without uh, liking product B. But uh, with balancing, we can say this, that the entire of A is known to be 350, although a section of A is 100. So the other section must be the balancing. And therefore, should you take 350 minus 100, you shall get 250 here. 250. So that now the two areas, when you add them, they tally with this 350. Then be the same, that should you balance uh, with this 220 and 100, you are going to get a balancing of 120, which means the two areas, when you add them, they will tally with this 220. And we have already completed our two individual sets. I want uh, to introduce f two formulas here, uh, which are going to assist us, and they will be assisting you always as you are trying to balance off uh, your uh, results. So we have the first formula, which is set A union set B. This is to get the entire of the circles. So A union B. The formula is always taking the whole of A, you add to the whole of B, and because if you tra trace, you'll discover there is double counting. If you trace the whole of circle A, add to the whole of circle B, there is this section that is double counted in A as well as in B. And this is the intersection. So since it's double counted, we're going to subtract or remove it. So we subtract A, uh, intersection B. So uh, let's substitute. We know A is 350 uh, consumers plus B, B is 220, the entire of B, 220. But we are saying there is double counting, which is the intersection, which is 100. So this will give us 570. When you subtract 100, you get 470. That means those consumers who they either liked product A or B. They are 470 out of those interviewed or surveyed, 500. That is the first formula. And literally, even if you are to add 250 plus 100 plus 120 should give you 470. But the formula enables you to determine the total of the circles even without uh, indicating these areas that are unique to the individual uh, sets. The second formula is for the universal. It's that universal equals to those who like product A or product B, which is A union B, then you add those who do not like, who are outside the two circles, so which is A union B, complement. So complement means those who are not in A or B. So we were to balance, let's substitute, universal, you know it is 500, then this is already 470, so we get A union B complement. And that tells you, as you balance, transferring 470 on your left hand side, then that means A union B complement is 30. That means we have discovered those who are outside the individual sets, they never liked any of the product A or B, but they were interviewed, then they are that to balance. That means the individual sets plus outside here should give us the whole of the box, which is 500. Thank <music> you.